Hey you guys, this is Hong Forrest and I am logged in tonight to show you how to enroll a new loyal customer from within your eSuite. When you are logged into your eSuite, you want to click on the orders icon along the top of your eSuite and once you do, you're taken to a screen that looks like this. On the left hand side, click on enroll new customer and it will take you to a screen that you can pick the country for your loyal customer, their language, and then also the options. So you can enroll as a retail customer, a loyal customer, or a distributor, or distributor at this point. I'm enrolling a loyal customer tonight, so I'm clicking on loyal customer and it takes me to the enrollment products that my customer would like. In this case, my client tonight is ordering an ultimate body applicator and our hair, skin, nails supplement. So clicking on those two items, I'm going to continue after I verify that I have what they want in their um, shopping cart. And once you click on continue, it'll take you to the next screen where you can fill out your client's information, which I'm going to do um, and not record just due to security reasons, of course. Um, but I just want to make a couple of notes. From this screen, you are the enroller, so the enroller ID will always be you. But placement ID, you have the right to move your loyal customer to any other distributor in your downline. If you are the only distributor on your team, obviously the customer stays under you. However, if you have team members in your downline and you have the option to move them anywhere you'd like to, to help a team member fill volume, etc. So you would just need to know the ID number of whomever you are placing your new loyal customer under. You put into this placement ID box right here and click verify placement ID. Once you go through and fill out your customer's information, the address portion, please do pay careful attention that the billing and shipping addresses um, are the same. If they are not, for example, your client wants to ship the product to their place of work or to their mother-in-law's house or something like that, you have to stop the enrollment process at this point and call or submit a customer service ticket and enroll your customer via phone or via support ticket. Um, so make sure that the billing and shipping address match in order for you to continue. And then once you scroll down to the billing and payment section, the name must match exactly as it appears on the card. So if somebody goes by Bob, but the name on the card is Robert, please double check that, verify that, and see if there's a middle initial. Once you go down to the bottom, the terms and conditions of the Loyal Customer Program are outlined below. Um, and clicking on Submit Application means that your customer is agreeing to the ter terms and conditions that are stated. So do make sure that you have that signed customer order form um, because that's something that says that the customer has agreed to it. Now, um, once you click on Submit Application, if you have a successful enrollment, the next screen it takes you to will say your loyal customer account number is such and such, your password is this, and you have that uh, verification right there. If the enrollment order is not successful, you will stay on this, on this window, on this screen, but you will get a smaller pop-up window with the error message that gives you a couple of errors. One could be an AVS error, which I believe stands for Air Address Verification Sync, I believe, and that means the AVS error usually means that the billing and shipping addresses do not match and your client um, did not inform you of this. So AVS error usually means the billing and shipping address do not match. Sometimes you also might get the insufficient funds error, which that is pretty obvious what that error is. And you might also get an issuer declined error, which could be uh, any a host of reasons, but a popular reason could just possibly be the bank has a hold on online transactions, for example. So if you get the issuer declined error, just go back to your client and uh, ask them to verify all of their information, their billing address, their shipping address, the name as it appears on the card, double check the numbers to make sure you have that accurate, and ask them if they have any sort of holds, that if their bank would place any sort of holds um, on online transactions. So that is how you would enroll a loyal customer um, from within your eSuite, and uh, that's how easy it is to do.